The old Cynodome in Napa sits quiet, dark, and lifeless. Only remnants of the past still occupy this building. Empty countertops where the popcorn maker once popped endlessly on a busy night. The projection room once filled with the sounds of film flapping through the machines, gone. Only old labels serve as reminders of what once was the heart of the theater. Yep, the Cynodome. Chances are that if you grew up in this area, you've seen a movie or two here. Like the first time you ever watched a movie on the big screen. Or the night you took your girlfriend to see Never Been Kissed, hoping to get, well, your first kiss. And now, like a scene from Backdraft. Real life action. Without the movie screen or popcorn. For three days, fire departments from all over Napa County participated in a massive training exercise here at the Old Cynodome Movie Theater in Napa. The call gets dispatched as a uh, working commercial structure fire with rescue. There's victims trapped inside. Typical night at the movies, possibly, you know, 100, 200 occupants in the movie theater. Some workers tried to stay behind and uh, attack the fire. Uh, they've been overcome by smoke. It gave them real world training to help them save lives in an actual emergency. We tried to uh, get out of the, the, the mundane of training at the drill tower. And every time we, you know, if we could get old businesses or, um, you know, places that, that are going to be demoed, it's nice to train in new buildings. This is a big building. It's a, it's, a, it's a serious scenario. It's a serious fire if this was actually a live fire. There's lots of place for the fire to go. There's lots of place for smoke to fill up. Crawling through the smoke, you know, it, it's, it's hard. It's, it's, you know, you can't see anything. You're going by feel. There's steps, there's slopes, and so there's a whole bunch of different uh, hazards. The firefighters, the dangers are doubled or even quadrupled when entering a building with heavy smoke and fire. Guys, that fire's getting hot. Start getting down. When we go into the fire, we cut off some of our senses. Here, we can't see, so sight's gone. We can't smell because we don't want to breathe the smoke because it's highly cancerous, hydrogen cyanide. Uh, carbon monoxide is all very dangerous. We have our mask on, so smells out. Pretty much you're down to feel and hearing. When we go into harm's way, it, you know, the smoke might be cold at first, what we call cold smoke. And as we get closer to the fire, you know, it gets hotter and more uncomfortable. Uh, you know, that's why we have to have multiple lines, multiple engines uh, to put water on the fire and to make it safe. So we could cut the fire off, keep it in check, and then do our searches uh, from there and hopefully save lives. And they have special tools to help them save those lives. It's called a thermal imager. That's a very important piece of equipment. Uh, it not only helps us find victims in a fire, but it helps us locate the fire itself. One of the other larger tools firefighters use is a ladder truck. Usually we don't have to cut from our aerial ladder, but you know that just shows the importance of our truck company. We have numerous Victorians. Uh, downtown, downtown, we, you know, we're starting to see five-story hotels. So the truck company plays a key role in that. This is a good test of our mutual aid. As we all know, California probably has the best mutual aid system in the nation. So honestly, we can't all do it ourselves. This structure here, if it was on fire, we need two truck companies. We need eight engines, we need rescues, we need support units. It's pretty much a, just not an Napa City fire, it would be an all hands on deck type of thing. I'm very proud it, you know, it takes a team uh, between not only my department, but Cal Fire and County Fire to pull this off. My first movie here was, I think, Star Wars. The one that I can, <laughs> yeah, I can remember most was here at the Senate Dome. Growing up here, I probably started coming here when I was four or five years old, and and uh, used to be at the skate park pretty much every day in high school across the street, and and uh, come over here for movies, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's pretty surreal just being able to blow water in here and cut up the roof and and doing all the things that we're doing in here. Let's go to 